of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Greetings and welcome to Brian Mason Bible Study. And we are continuing our study of Moses as an intercessor, the greatest intercessor in the Old Testament. And the scriptures are the authorized version and we're in Exodus chapter 5, beginning at the first verse. In fact, the title comes from the first verse. Let my people go. Quite emphatic is that. There's no room for, for discussion on it. Have, and afterward Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel. There's a thus saith. Yes, it's Moses here was speak, to speak as God. Aaron was to put the words before Pharaoh, but they were still those of, of God and Moses. Yes, let my people go. And what people? The people of Israel, the Hebrews, who were slaves in the land of Egypt under the king uh, Pharaoh. And they were to go for a specific purpose, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord? He didn't know the Lord. And he didn't appear to want to know the Lord. That I should obey his voice and let Israel go. I know not the Lord. Neither will I let Israel go. Very stubborn man was Pharaoh. But yet God had made him stubborn. So that God would get revenge over Pharaoh and the evil that he had done to God's people, Israel. And they said, The God of the Hebrews have sent, sent, met with us. Let us go, we pray thee, three days' journey into the desert. Well, that wasn't very long, three days just to be away and sacrifice. Yes, there's always sacrifice unto the Lord. And in these days too, there needs to be that sacrifice unto the Lord. Yes, sacrifice of our own, own lives, our whole life. Yeah, to worship God in spirit and in truth. So, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. So, Moses and Aaron, they didn't want the Lord to be falling upon them with pestilence and, and the sword. But pestilence was to fall upon the Egyptians. And the king of Egypt said unto the, them, Wherefore, do ye, Moses and Aaron, let the people from their works get you unto, unto your burdens? He was a very, very stubborn man, was Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land now are many, and ye make them rest from their burdens. They were burdens. It was a hard task that they were being given by Pharaoh. And Pharaoh commanded the same day the taskmasters of the people and their officers, saying, Ye shall no more give the people straw to make brick, as here, heretofore. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. So he was meek, being 
Very difficult was Pharaoh. Straw was necessary for the making of bricks, and to withhold straw made the task even greater. And the tale of the bricks which they did make here, there, here too for. Ye shall lay upon them, ye shall not diminish aught thereof, for they be idle. That's how, Moses, how Pharaoh looked upon the Hebrews, as a lazy, idle, lazy people. Therefore they cry, saying, Let us go and sacrifice to our God. Let there be more, more work be laid upon the men. That's how Pharaoh dealt with the situation. No sympathy, no understanding of the human being. That they may labor therein and let them not regard vain words. And the taskmasters of the people went out and their officers, and they spake to the people, saying, Thus saith Pharaoh, I will not give you straw. Go ye, get you straw where you can find it, and not aught of your work shall be diminished. That was the instruction. And so the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Egypt to gather stubble instead of straw. And the taskmasters hasted them, saying, Fulfill your works, your daily tasks, as when there was straw. So, in other words, they were going to go and do the, what was the, an impossible task. Yes, your daily tasks as when there was straw. And the officers of the children of Israel, which Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten. Oh, terrible. And demanded, Wherefore have ye not fulfilled your task in making brick? both yesterday and today, as heretofore. Then the officers of the children of Israel came and cried unto Pharaoh, saying, Wherefore dealest thou thus with thy servants? There is no straw given unto thy servants. And they say to us, Make brick. Behold, thy servants are beaten but the fault is in thine own people. But he said, ye are idle. Ye are idle, therefore ye say, let us go and do sacrifice to the Lord. Go therefore now and work, for there shall no straw be given you. Yet shall shall ye deliver the tale of bricks. Oh, go, go and work. Go and do the same. Yes, you may not have all the materials this time, but you've still got to produce what you were told to set out in the first place. And the officers of the children of Israel did see that day where it an evil case after it was said, ye shall not minish aught from your bricks of your daily task. And they met Moses and Aaron, who stood in the way as they came forth from Pharaoh. And they said unto them, The Lord look upon you and judge, because ye have made our our Saviour, Saviour, to be abhorred in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of his servants, to put a sword in their hand to slay us. Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Lord, 
Wherefore hast thou so evil treated this people? Why is it that thou hast sent me? Again, questioning the Lord. Because he questioned him, he didn't want to come in the first place to Egypt. For since I came to Pharaoh to speak in thy name, he hath done evil to this people. Neither hast thou delivered thy people at all. So Moses told the Lord straight what he thought about the situation. And as we will be continuing week by week, making our way through Exodus, you will see how Moses deals with the Lord as an intercessor. I shall be back again on this week on Thursday, more, probably morning about 11, though it may not be exactly that time, uh, and be doing the, the service for the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Then on Friday afternoon, two o'clock British time, we do an intercession as the Lord leads at this time. Then on Sunday afternoon at 1.30 British time, we do in Holy Communion, commonly known as the Mass. Thank you for being with me. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost be with you now and always. Amen. Mm -hmm.